guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a rumor that has been circulating for a while now, and I keep on seeing people talk about it, so here we are. And that, of course, is the rumor that LEGO hates Ninjago and is trying to do everything in their power to get rid of the series. The rumors also suggest that LEGO is constantly trying to one-up Ninjago with other original themes so they can finally end Ninjago and focus their attention on something that they actually like. In a way, some folks are suggesting that LEGO is actively trying to sabotage Ninjago and everything that it stands for. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much as ridiculous as it sounds. I don't think this rumor is true at all because if it was true, Ninjago would still not be going, right? Ninjago has been going strong for over 10 years now, and with the start of Ninjago Dragons Rising, a new era entirely has begun for Ninjago as Dragons Rising is the start of a multi-year TV show, which has been confirmed multiple times already. But still, we have the rumors that LEGO hates Ninjago, and every original theme, whether it be Chima, Nexo Knights, Monkey Kid, and now LEGO Dreams, all of those were designed to replace Ninjago. And while that might have been true for one of those, Chima, that was literally designed to be a Ninjago replacement, Ninjago has proven itself to be successful time and time again because it's still going. But that still apparently doesn't keep the rumor mill from spreading. And it's also not really helping that a lot of people choose to spread misinformation and claim to have insider knowledge for no reason. Rumors like this with no basis and and major my dad works at Nintendo Energy are not helping the situation. And even if Lego is giving priority to other Lego themes right now, like Lego Dreams, for example, that makes sense because Dreams, like Ninjago, is an original Lego IP. Lego is going so hard on the Dreams promotion because it's their own original thing. They want their own thing to succeed, in addition to licensing themes that they already have. Ninjago is no different, and while it may not be as popular as it once was back in its heyday, Ninjago is still running proving to me that LEGO still finds it successful and still worth running. They are still putting out Ninjago year after year in terms of the sets and the show, and don't get my words twisted here, I am not an avid defender of LEGO, I find a lot of their practices to be questionable to say the least, but still, in this scenario, I don't think that LEGO hates Ninjago. If they truly did, they would just cancel it altogether. Do I think that sometimes maybe LEGO could put more effort into actually promoting Ninjago? For sure. Do I think that sometimes LEGO's practices make Ninjago not as relevant? Also, for sure. But do I think that LEGO is constantly trying to replace Ninjago? No. Either way, LEGO wins here. Even if LEGO Dreams is successful and Ninjago still continues, well then great, LEGO has multiple original IPs running at the same time that bring them in a ton of money. Either way, LEGO wins. Why would they get rid of one of those things? Just out of pure hatred and spite if the theme is still successful and maybe Making the company money. Long story short, they wouldn't cancel it. Why would you sever off a piece of your income? That doesn't make any sense. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this entire situation? Do you think LEGO truly hates Ninjago? And of course, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.